Welcome back to our three-part series on the RVI trade show. This is part two. If you didn't catch part one, we'll put the link down below. But this part two, we're covering a lot of things that were personally very exciting to us. So in this video, we're gonna share some of the footage that we captured when we visited the Newmar, Integra, and Tiffin booths at the show. Yeah, there were quite a few surprises and some things that we're really excited to share with you. So let's go check them out. We stopped by the Tiffin booth to have a look at what they have going on with their motorhomes. Tiffin builds a really great product and they have a great reputation for service, but we didn't see a lot of really big innovations from their motorhomes. They introduced the Wayfarer Class C earlier this year and the Tiffin family does have a fifth wheel brand called the Van Lay that's been out for a couple years, but they had a new product offering at this show called the Beacon that was turning a lot of heads. We'll talk more about the Beacon in our next video where we're focusing more on towables. We decided to check out the latest Allegro open road and see how that stacks up against our 2012 35 QBA. So we're now inside a 2018 Tiffin open road gas motorhome. It's a 36 LA floor plan, it's about 37 feet in length. So this is bigger than the one that we have six years newer and a different floor plan. This is a really nice floor plan. This has been one of their most popular floor plans. It's got a booth dinette here. Um, for some reason this counter feels taller than ours. It's not on the slide, I don't know why. Here's one of the challenges I have with this particular coach. It may not affect most of you because you're probably normal height. I am four foot eight, but I can't even reach the handle of this cupboard. If you're a short person like me, you may have some challenges with the Tiffin 36 LA. Uh, we love this coach, but it's a deal breaker because I just can't reach a lot of the things that I need to access often, like this kitchen cupboard, like these kitchen cupboards. <laughs> I can reach that, but I can't reach anything beyond the bottom shelf. Freezer. Definitely a lot more of a challenge. This has a separate armchair here, which you could take out and use as a workspace. That was one of the things that we did think about doing when we were doing our coach shopping back in 2014. Back in the toilet. <laughs> At least I have arm room here, but it's this tiny little pedestal toilet that uh, I just I'm a big fan of. One more issue for the vertically challenged like myself. I can't reach the closet either. So as much as we really like this coach, if you are vertically challenged like me, it could be just a little more challenging. Part of the reason is none of the street side has a slide. So none of it is in the slide. Right. That's part of why. Look at this, look how weird this is. It's just bad design. If I want to brush my teeth and leaning over the sink, I actually can't because my arm is crashing into this washer dryer cupboard here. Really, I mean, I have to get my, um, right around here to be trying it. This is where we see coaches that are nice, but little things that just make it challenging for day-to-day -day use. Not very well thought out, and this is where we get frustrated, where a lot of RV manufacturers are designing coaches that they're not living in and using regularly themselves. If you're doing this occasionally on weekends, it might not be a problem, but if you're thinking about doing extended RV travel or full-time travel, that is gonna get old real quick. So in this front passenger area is where I would have my office in our existing gas coach. It still has a pull-out laptop tray, but it's not flat. It's got some weird design thing here, which doesn't make it very practical. I would not be able to fit my 13-inch laptop on here. Um, much smaller storage space underneath. It's better than nothing, but I'm not real excited about what they've done on the dash here. All right, come with us as we go check out what's new from Integra. So this was a very big surprise for us. Integra Coach has traditionally only built big luxury diesel pusher motorhomes. This is the first time they've ever done a gas powered class A motorhome. And this one's called the Emblem, the Integra Emblem. And from talking to the rep yesterday, sounds like one of the big things they're focusing on is big suspension upgrades because Integra Luxury Coaches have such a reputation for ride quality that they really wanted to extend that into having a superior riding gas coach. This is a gas coach on the same Ford V10 engine that ours would have. It's on a 24,000 pound chassis. I'm not sure what the carrying capacity does on this. This is a prototype unit. We'll just have to see as we get a little more details on this, but that's definitely a big surprise. Let's have a quick look inside, check it out. All right, what's well, going to be a 2019 model. So you can definitely see that they're going for a high-end gas coach. You can see a lot of Integra 
type cabinetry in here and they're going with Furion range tops and Furion appliances which are definitely known to be a higher end appliances in motorhomes. So they've got the extra bunk up here that would come down when you want to be able to use it but what's nice about these it's good use of flexible space in that this comes up and out of the way most of the time you only need to bring it down when you need that extra sleeping surface. And being a gas coach with a midship entry it's going to be a good place to have one of these bunks in front because when you have a diesel coach the entry is usually in front of that front seat so if you bring a bunk down now you can't properly exit the motorhome. So this works a lot better when you have a midship entry, of course. This is a bath and a half. So one more surprise for us in the Integra line here is an entry level insignia coach under 40 feet. We've not seen any under 40 foot diesel pusher motorhomes from Integra before. So we're going to check out this insignia, which is the base level of the four main levels of the diesel pusher motorhomes offered by Integra coach. All right, so this is the Insignia 37 foot diesel coach. This is a concept coach or a prototype. And so this is not available yet in the market. So what you see here is not necessarily what's going to be available when you go to buy one from a dealer or place your order. So what I'm interested to see is what they've done with the space to have this as a 37 foot coach using a big diesel engine. So we've got a booth dinette over here and they've got in the middle of the coach TV and a fireplace. Sofa over here, really nice kitchen, stainless steel seats. I like what they've done here. They've got a induction cooktop, again Furion. So far we're really liking what we see in this coach. I step into the bathroom, I don't know, I seem to have a thing about toilets this week. <laughs> this is lower than I think we would normally expect for a toilet in a coach. It's again a little squeezy here on the left arm this time but otherwise it's a nice bathroom, good shower, quite a lot of storage space in here. Let's keep looking. Pantry with your pull out shelves and a really good sized bedroom. Washer dryer So they've carried a lot of the Integra finishes like this porcelain floor, uh, a lot of the fit and finishes that we're seeing in Integra coaches. Some of the fit and finishes not quite as high as we see in the other levels of the coaches up in the Integra line, understandably being the entry level. But so far we're liking what we see with this and we're really liking that Integra is making some efforts to bring a lot more smaller coaches into the market under 40 feet for those of us that don't want coaches that big. So really think this is a great prototype. Obviously they're still going to make some changes and improvements before it hits the market, but I think this is heading in a really nice direction. Another entirely new space for Integra are Class C. They have not one, not two, but three Class C's here at the show. Traditionally, again, they're almost entirely, previously, had been all luxury coaches like that Cornerstone, that big tag axle diesel pusher. So seeing Class C's and a gas Class A has been a huge change to the Integra product line. Integra has Class C's on Mercedes and Ford chassis, and some more luxurious fit and finish than some other Class C's. So let's head over now and take a look at Newmar. This is probably the fanciest shower <laughs> we've seen there, which is the top of the line, Newmar King Air, London Air.
here we are inside a 2018 Newmar New Air, which is a really big deal in the industry. It's a big groundbreaking product is that it's a smaller package, but it's a high-end luxury coach in a smaller coach. It's about 33 feet long. It's a 33-43 model. And this is, they're packing a lot into this 33 feet. There is really good use of space and the finishes are very high-end. I think this is a very exciting product. It's got the farmhouse type stainless steel sink, really good use of space, high-end finishes on the woodwork and even things like the dash has a glass dashboard so it has all digital gauges. Very impressed with the fit and finish on this and very impressed with how luxurious it feels for a smaller diesel pusher. And it's interesting to look at it in this display with the rest of the new Mars as well because the other new Mars that are nearby it are very big tag axle, Dutch Stars, Mountain Airs, London Airs, Essex and King Air. And this coach fits in with that crowd, but it's interesting to see it because it's shorter in height and much shorter in length. I was super impressed with the inside of this new air, but something I did not expect in a coach this length is to have this much storage. This has enormous basement storage for such a short diesel pusher coach. It's got two joey beds. This one's got space on the other side as well. And then another bay with the slide out with a Dometic secondary fridge on the outside. This has so much more storage space than I would have expected in a coach this size. So now I'm inside a new Ma Dutch Star 3736. It's a diesel pusher motorhome. Uh, we are actually not exactly sure how long this is, being a 3736, but we do know it's under 40 feet. And they've done a really great job of maximizing the use of the space of this motorhome, which the Dutch Star is one of the more popular full-time RVing coaches. It's definitely a little bit more, a little bit, a lot more. It's definitely a higher end motor coach, but it is popular with full-time and extended travel RVers one of the brands that we see out there a lot. You can see this is really nice and open. We really like the, having these separate seats here. I mean, as you know, we're always looking for ways to be able to maximize space for working. And so having these makes it easy to be able to have a put up desk or something in front that you could, we could use these as workspaces. We've got a televator so that can hide away when you're not watching TV. Um, booth dinette. I'm pretty sure this would also be available in a standalone dining and chairs. We're seeing dishwashers come standard on a lot of these higher end class A motorhomes that are really more popular with full time RVers. One of my favorite features on the Numar products, and they're the only ones that I'm aware of that are doing this, is a full flush tile floor. They call it more floor, but they're using the same tile floor and it's seamless and it is just gorgeous. This is really good picture of it here. Usually it's only a bit showing, but here being part of the slide out, you can see how this is full flush floor, all tile. And apparently now in 2018, now they're with heated tile, um, which is pretty cool too. But I think this is gorgeous. Some people are a little concerned about the slide mechanism in that it's more complex, but this has been thoroughly tested according to Newmark. And I have a lot of faith in that product, but something I think is beautiful. Another feature that's popular on Newmar, in fact, it's a standard feature in a lot of their tricks. Instead of having an exit window, they have a rear exit door. And God forbid you ever actually need to exit your vehicle besides using the regular door, but this would definitely be a much safer and easier way to exit the vehicle is via a door instead of crawling through a window. We're inside a Newmar Canyon Star 3924. It's a really nice front area of the coach. And then we came into the bedroom and it's kind of fun. There's a little back door. Let's see where this goes. This is a really nice outdoor space right off the back bedroom, a rear deck, something you don't see on a Class A motorhome very often. 
It's got a nice covered awning. It's got an outside sink with a refrigerator and an entertainment area on your little patio deck. Pretty nice feature. We're inside a Newmar Ventana LE right now, and which is a diesel pusher from the Newmar line. And this is something we have not seen anywhere else. I think it's very innovative use of flexible space. We're always looking for good space utilization. This, when you first walk in, just looks like a bunk bed, but this is actually a couch. So this could be a very functional space, being a bed and a couch for any guests that you have or if you have small children. So this just pulls out of the way, and then this couch is gonna lower down and you'll be able to have a really straight on view of the television. We actually stopped by the FlexSteel booth and asked them to show us how this product works. Aging switch down here. Got the two hydraulic. Oh, I love it. They're going to help. So we call it the lift and lock bunk bed to make it intuitive of how you have to get it to connect in. So you lift, lock it into place. Um, then we do have these two inside guards as well to so out of that lift area. Right. Lock it up together and what you basically have is two twin size mattresses that you can sleep on. All right, well that wraps up part two of our three part series. Be sure to check back again tomorrow where we're gonna get for part three and we're gonna be sharing some information that we saw on the towables and some other exciting in innovations. Well, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We'd love to hear which RV brand and products you have been looking at. What are you liking so far about what you've seen and what else do you wanna see more of? So let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, share your comments and subscribe to get updates on our latest videos about RV life tips and travel.